Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we will be comparing two brands called TP Link and Gilling. Now we'll be comparing the IP cameras. So let's go and review them. So the TP Link camera it has 15 frames per second. Uh video quality decent at 1080 but <laughs> It only can support like what, 15 frames per second I mean at least it has a speaker and microphone But the video will be jerky <laughs> So yeah, because it's only like what, 15 frames per second And for those who do not know what is frame per second The higher the number, the better quality, the smoother the video will be So 15 frames per second, that's why it's cheap because it sucks so for those who want a smooth recorded video of your house when you're not at home TP Link camera will just give you headache <laughs> 15 frames per second who the fuck uses 15 frames per second <laughs> even YouTube uses 30 <laughs> guys I just realized <laughs> TP Link uh, is on Straits Times <laughs> 15 frames per second is on Straits Times itself okay what the fuck <laughs> Goodness, horrible. TP Link's horrible. I mean, look at it. It's on Swiss Times. <laughs> okay, so the next camera, we'll be talking about Gilling. So, Link camera, I heard it's quite good. So, let's go and review it. Fuck! Are you kidding me? It's like 30 frames per second. And it's like what? Better than TP Link? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? 30 frames per second What the hell It's so much better than TP Link No wonder it's slightly more expensive huh? ah, So money does play a part So if you really want a good camera That Records smooth, smoothly Get deep, uh, <laughs> Get D-Link D-Link camera 30 frames per second eh. Like what the hell are you serious No wonder it's so much more expensive than TP Link lah huh? Hmm, actually, that's all for this video <laughs> is to compare and let you know which uh, IP camera is good for home use So if you do not care about the quality wise, then 15 frames per second is good enough But if you are willing to spend the extra few amount, then Gilling Because like what, 30 frames per second is so much better, it's 15 more frames than TP Link. <laughs> so honestly, it's based on what you want, what you need. Yeah, if you're okay with the quality of it being fucked up, then TP Link. Go for TP Link. Because 15 frames per second, are you serious? It's like what? Recording what? Like some fucked up show. <laughs> so yeah, in conclusion, I think that D Link is better because. It has similar quality, they are both 1080 but uh, D-Link has 30 frames per second which will produce a more smooth video when you are playing back the recording. Yeah, that's all for this video. <laughs> uh, like this video if you want me to do more reviews on this. Uh, uh, the links are in the description so I'm not lying about this. You can go check it out yourself, the links is there, click on it. Uh, think before you buy, I mean TP-Link cheaper and one thing to take note about TP-Link is very simple TP-Link the reason why they sell so cheap is because certain hardware of the Wi-Fi router or certain functions of the camera is not good because they either take out some parts or they use a lousy piece of shit and put it there <laughs> and D-Link is more expensive because they do not miss out any components in that product like the hardware, the processor the RAM if you have, I don't know, but yeah, TP-Link does reduce the components, they may take out certain components to cut costs, that's why it's so cheap. So yeah, if you want to buy a TP-Link camera, you can, but the quality sucks, so for me honestly, if I want to buy a home security camera, I will buy like what, D-Link? Because it has 30 frames per second and I want that smoothness, you know. I don't want to buy a camera that comes home, I record, I review it 
it jogs it like I don't know how it feels when it's at 15 frames per second because I don't I'm not a noob I'm not like deep peeling okay I'm not a noob I don't use 15 frames per second I use at least 30 or even more sometimes okay 15 is too little even professional videos movies editors use like 24 you can go check it out it's like 24 frames per second and deep peeling uses 15 <laughs> what a noob so like this video if you want me to do more reviews send me links send me facts I can make fun of certain products if you want to I don't mind doing that because TP Link is a cheap skate brand. It's cheap, yes, it's cheap, but it sucks because they reduce certain kind of components in it. That's why it's so cheap. They have, they have to cut the cost. Okay, cut cost means taking out certain components of the hardware, processor, you know, yeah. So, I'll see you in the next video.